Greetings, Keisha Lane. Keisha Prime here with my late live reaction to One Punch Man, Chapter 191. Alright. Heroes is the title. And we have... Why is Sitch here? We have Wild Emperor. <laughs> um, uh, crap. Metal Bat. I almost said Mad Bat for some reason. <laughs> That's not it. Right Bang, I see you. Got Saitama and King way off in the back. And... Is that Genos? Or is that Garo? And then I forget the guy's name, the one that helped them out, or helped out the, uh, the support team for the monster raid. What was it? What's his name? But anyway, so they're all on the cover. <clears throat> ah, and he appears yet again. Also, apparently he took his eye and his hand off. Wait, is he? Is he leaving? Thank you all for taking care of me. In addition, here are the artificial hand and eye I was given. I humbly return these to you. What? Wait a minute, Mr. Second Guy. Ah, oh, that's it. I know it began with an S. Um, as it is, our heroes are already leaving one after the other for Neo. To think that even an executive staff member like you would leave. It says, here I take full responsibility for this situation and submit my resignation as of today. Huh. So McCoy's reading that resignation letter. This timing doesn't seem like you've also, you're also getting recruited by Neo. Right? Hmm. Guessing there's no point keeping it a secret. That's correct. Oh. Sitch is actually very calm about this. I wonder if he's also being scalped for it. Not scalped. Spotted? What is the term? When they, like, just snatch someone away. When it comes to supporting heroes and ensuring the safety of citizens, uh... Which organization is better suited, has a better system, has better personnel training, has a better future outlook? After comparing them, most of those have not really been tested. <laughs> um, and as we found out last chapter, good lord, it's a dark underbelly. So, after comparing them and verifying for myself, I came to a conclusion. <laughs> this is quite serious. Have you no shame going so far as to switch to a rival organization? You're betraying all the comrades you have supported up to, or who have supported you up till now. You don't give a shit. <laughs> You're fucking working with the evil dude in the other organization. McCoy, what the fuck? I almost called him Conrad. That's not his name. <laughs> Surely. You're not taking an important post here in exchange for selling information from us. Oh. I mean, corporate espionage and whatnot. Yeah, I could see that. He's trying to doubt Second Guard if an information leak is detected. Just how rotten is this guy? He invited Second Guard himself. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> so McCoy actually brought Second Guard into the organization. But Sitch knows what's up. I'm a member of the organization. What? What? <coughs> I know that people will engage in such things will not be trusted anywhere they are trusted anywhere they go. So he's a member of the organization? That's big shit. They haven't been mentioned in forever. Ha! I'm just joking. Uh, don't take it so seriously. Then, uh, or what organization is he talking about? Is it the robot one? Or is he just talking about in general? <clears throat> hmm. But it seems like the robot one. Then I'll take my leave. Mr. Sitch. I've, uh, heard a rumor that you and him are inseparable friends. How can that be a rumor? It's either true or not. Did he not discuss this with you beforehand? No. Sengar originally wanted to be a hero. 
unlike us office workers, I'm sure he has his own policies and ideals when it comes to working with heroes. If he made his choice by himself based on that, then I respect his decision. That's why you haven't said anything. That's all. Hmm. The car's kind of like, hmm. Okay, you have a briefcase? Wait, is that a bomb? <laughs> it, w it would be funny as hell if they just tried to kill him. <laughs> He's opening it up in the elevator. Oh. He. Oh. Is this from the Neos? We've got a new hand and another eye. I don't know what these other smaller devices are. They could be like adjusting tools for those pieces of equipment. But now he's got black hand. <laughs> it's probably like some dark metallic, but it black hand. <laughs> um, oh, oh shit. He can, oh my god, the feed and readouts he has coming from this eye. Chill. What? <laughs> no. Oh, he was going to say child. No. Uh. Isamu. Can you hear me? Wait. Oh, so he's the one who built this stuff for you. I've installed the new modifications you gave me. Mr. Sekengar. Good, w good work. Seems like they're working well. Well, I set them up, so it's only natural. My god, you ego. <laughs> uh, they could be a lot higher performance than the ones you got from the association. Ah, made by Beaufort. That's what that's equating to. Okay, so <laughs> a little slide at your mentor. Then let's follow the plan and integrate into Neo. So, are they actually, like, acting as spies? Or something? I'm starting to wonder, because, like, you make such a big grandstand. At least Child Emperor did. With, you know, changing his name, having, like, these doubts and everything, and then changing over. Even though he could literally probably just have the same problem where he's going about corruption and all that that he investigated. Instead of just trying to fix it when he has already a pretty high standing in the association as it was. But then also apparently having an ally in Sekengar is even more so that they were literally working. Like you have one that goes after like hero corruption, one that goes for staff corruption. So like they could have done something. So I wonder if they're checking out the Neos. <coughs> we'll infiltrate them and find out both McCoy's schemes. Ah, so they are. Whether Neo is developing any plans to counter the Hero Association. With your guts and initiative, it's hard to think of you as just a normal employee, Mr. Sekengar. I thought the same thing when you were fighting the Monster Association. <laughs> you overestimate me. <laughs> uh, it would have been nice if Sitch and I caught McCoy red-handed, but if you hadn't offered to help, there would have been nothing we could do. Immediately condemning McCoy and removing him would be simple, of course. But if we did that, we wouldn't know what Neo was, or has in their grasp. Yeah, that would put their, our heroes at risk. Let's talk in detail later. I'm about to head over there. Understood. So here comes Metal Bat. Yo! Metal Bat? I, I heard already. You're leaving here for Neo? He doesn't seem to be against it. You've got good ears. <laughs> uh, what do you want? Are are you here to deal with the traitor? Not at all. One day earlier. Good. You're stubborn. How many times will you make me say it? Okay, so him and Sitch had a meeting. I really got no interest in moving into a place like this. Could you please reconsider? You'd have unlimited use of the facilities here at an, uh, blah, unbeatable price. <clears throat> and in return, you want me to protect the rich folks who live here. Hard pass. I mean, he 
he's a guy that comes from more humble beginnings, as far as we can tell, so this makes perfect sense. Like hell I'd let my sister see me play in favorites with those privileged, biased, money-grubbing bastards you hold themselves up in the, in the shelters. And leaving all the ordinary folks out there to fend for themselves, no way. If you come here, you could also guarantee the safety of your sister. Eh? <laughs> I protect my sister. That's always been the case. You can just shut your mouth about that. I, I try to go for his one weak point. <laughs> Other than his lack of higher intelligence. Um, I'm, I'm calling him dumb. Anyway, I'm astonished. You sure you're single-minded as always. As I expected of you. Understood. I'll give up on the matter of residence. Oh, in return? Eh? <laughs> uh, seeing as, as a man, I have something to ask of you. Oh. And so it went something like that. I was instructed to come as your bodyguard. Oh, this makes sense. I'll go to Neo Heroes as well. Sitch, that bastard. Wait. As in, he's going to be his bodyguard all the way? To like, What the fuck does the K on his... His name is bad. Why has he got a K on his belt buckle? That's weird. Um, actually, it's not even on his belt buckle. It is his belt buckle. So is he joining Neo Heroes? Or is this more just for the bodyguard detail? To jump into enemy grounds to protect the heroes while hardly saying a thing to anyone, I'd make a damn good hero yourself. Or you'd make a damn good hero yourself. Rest easy, even if we get busted as spies within the Neo Heroes. Why are you saying this out loud? <laughs> You're in the fucking building. Mm. Well, that was a little bit of vomit. I hate when that happens. Mm. I'll make sure not a single finger gets laid on you. Okay, so maybe he is joining up with the Neos for now. Look forward to working with you, boss. Okay, so he truly is. <laughs> Same here. And now we've got the... Um, so now you have a, a strong hero that is on the scientific side of things. You have... A staff member who has hero qualities and now you have a brutal hero that's acting as a bodyguard for the staff member so we have three more people defecting to Neo but more so as a let's see what they're all about <coughs> here comes one of the Neo O sprays looks like uh, we're boarding on a cruise okay well oh this is Bang's uh, Dojo. Hey, top disciple. Oh, that... <laughs> that's... <laughs> Hello. Oh, Garo, you cut your hair. Um, he's scaring that poor kid. Uh, get out there and buy me some uh, Pokari and uh, Yakashiba bread. And be quick. What kind of junior are you? <clears throat> Oh wait, maybe that isn't Garo. Why would Garo do that? Damn it. And so, Bang put him in his place. I, I'd i once perfected the pinnacle of martial arts, so why am I stuck dragging it? Oh, because he left. This is Garo. He left and now he's a junior again. Um, stuck ragging day in, day out. <laughs> hey, pinnacle, this spot is still a bit dusty. <laughs> oh god oh god do your best so he's not as strong as he used to be this is now confirmed it can't be helped uh, or it can't be helped can it you need to work hard from the lowest position so those you cause trouble for will accept you again <laughs> oh my just as I was saying that it's time for your next acceptance task it's time for your part time. Okay, so it's almost nine o'clock in the morning for them. Come on, it's one thing after another, and he's changing clothes right there. 
So I'm moaning about it. It's part of the rehabilitation program the court ordered. You should be thankful for such a chance. Because of your rampage causing all the disciples to run away, we're in a pinch financially, so get out there and rack up some money, Mr. Underling. <laughs> oh my god, he is going to kill you, fat man. Um, I don't need to be told that I, that to make fat stacks, so just wait here, and, uh, you bunch of freeloaders. Why is this reminding me of, like, Dragon Ball Z? Or, not Dragon Ball Z, but, like, Dragon Ball, because I'm pretty sure Roshi did that. Like, he had the boys train they were but they were doing part-time work in the process and I think he was the one getting all their money okay so now top disciple gets to be a uh, good grief it's just for a moment but I can be free from all my nervousness let's laze a bit hmm what M master that's all the ruckus there's an unbelievable in uh, visitor it's King What's King doing here? King? Hmm. Silver Fag. Mr. Bang. He doesn't know what to call him. There's a matter I'd like to discuss between the two of us. Wait, does he want to train and actually get stronger and do something? What is it? I've told you already. I won't be returning. The King Engine is active. Uh, uh, at this rate, I'm just barely... Mm hmm. I'm at my limit. I have nowhere left to run. I really could. I can't do anything anymore. Just yesterday, I was confronted by Atomic Samurai. But if my identity. Wait, is this all in his head? <laughs> uh, but if my identity is revealed, I may face all sorts of. Uh. Ugh. What's this word? Animosity. Why well, I couldn't say that word, I don't know. I'm scared of that. If it's Mr. Bang, surely you must have seen through me, I thought. Also, I heard you resigned, so it would be easier to get along with you or something. I know this is really selfish to say, but other than... Th I don't think this is actually in his head. <laughs> other than his... Uh, other than this, I really have no other choice, I thought. I'm, I'm really sorry. Eh? Oh, he's been whispering. Sorry, but I couldn't catch that. Could you speak a bit louder? Or uh, can you make stronger <laughs> oh my god eh? please make me stronger <laughs> god that face and the freaking daily squats with Saitama he's lifting up a building <laughs> my god and that's the end of the chapter uh, oh the last chapter had two messed up panels the incubation tank is occupied Okay, that's precisely why I had to set up as an advisor to the association as well as its public face and establish your connections with upper class society. Alright, I mean, it didn't really seem to change much of the, the context, so... Hmm. <clears throat> but, overall, mm, pretty solid chapter. Um... Now we're finding out that there's corporate espionage and just the spy job. Um, <clears throat> I did kind of wonder if this would happen. You know, with so many heroes kind of just going... <clears throat> Excuse me. That, like, people that truly want to make a difference and help those around them and whatnot, I'm, I was pretty sure that there, there was a structure going on that they... They would prefer to have, like, one good, you know, group of heroes and opposed to having two corrupt groups of heroes. <clears throat> you know, kind of thin the herd of all the badness. You know, cutting the bad chunk out of the apple, as it were. So I thought maybe that was something that would happen, and apparently it is kind of happening. Um, I was a little surprised with Second Guard teaming up with uh, Wild Emperor, but hey... They, they're both solid heroes, but, like, him saying he worked for the organization, like, so... And also finding out that McCoy's the one who brought Second Guard in the first place. This is some interesting developments. Um, I mean, I guess it makes sense with the cybernetic technologies that he had going for him. Or, no, wait. 
he it was only the eye he lost the hand in the battle so that that was a different thing I actually kind of wonder what this new hand he's got could do <sighs> maybe like it like splits down the middle here along the seams of the fingers and it becomes like a blade and it's like zing <laughs> that'd be kind of cool um and like his new eye seems to have like display technology he has communication technology presumably in the eye as well because he was talking to emperor about it and whatnot and so i'm assuming the the hand has applications other than just a hand so give him a hand folks he needs it um so yeah interesting and yeah, so they're working together along with Metal Bat as well to uh, to bring down this organization and keep the corruptness out of the hero world. Because I mean, if the ones who are saving you are corrupt, then chances are there is no true saving in this world. <laughs> so yeah, but uh, hmm really sure what else to say I, I this is a good chapter and the whole thing with uh garo where he's continuing to work towards the rehabilitation and trust building and whatnot so i like what bang's forcing him to do but also this was ordered by a court apparently which is interesting <clears throat> and the whole turnaround with king like he was like make me stronger <laughs> so it's like i guess after finally being confronted by an s class and not just being praised, he's truly kind of getting worried about his position in the group. And it's just like, crap, someone's going to find out eventually. I need to get stronger. And he went to Bang, of all people. I mean, it makes sense. A martial artist, that's the typical thing that people do when they want to become stronger and whatnot. They either work out or they learn a martial arts or a combination of the two. Because, I mean, we don't have superpowers and make equipment and stuff and all of a sudden it's like to get stronger i bought a gun <laughs> kind of thing i mean he could also do that to be honest king has the money he could buy a gun i don't know how well it would work in japan but then again you ain't supposed to have an axe roaming around either and zombie man do that but i'm sure they could make a an exception for king being an s class and i mean there's other heroes that carry weapons around in japan even though the laws are different but uh, this is also just a different bit of world anyway so but yeah i like uh, this was a good chapter there was some comedic moments there was good plot progressions into the whole neo arc going forward so i liked it Anyway, let me know your own thoughts and opinions. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content, see what you like, suggest things for the future. Links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming and I'll tweet out when I go live. Probably the One Punch Man podcast. Well, actually, I may start streaming on YouTube, to be honest. I've been thinking about it. So, may change that. <clears throat> I stream on YouTube and Twitch, or just YouTube, I don't know. But anyway, also part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And uh, as always, later days. Until next time, Kishlings. King wants to get stronger!